Mateo Tivet College campuses in the Free State are demanding answers over NASFAS allowances. Some say they have not received their monthly allowances, while others have received insufficient allowances for the past two months. Four students from Mateo Tivet Zastron campus have been suspended after allegations they were planning to set the campus alight. Students are also demanding to see financial documents relating to NASFAS as proof of payments received. Well, for more on this story, we cross now to our reporter, Apumalele Mdlalani, who's standing by for us. Thanks very much, Apumalele. What's the latest where you are? Nambu, I must just say that there's still to be uh, a confusion here at this campus between the students and the management regarding the issue of the NSFAS allocations. When talking to the students on the ground, we understand that others did even apply for their accommodation allowances, but they're not receiving it, of which they're saying there's no transparency between communication that is being transferred from the student to the management. But we talked to the management. Just want to give, uh, to, to hear out clarity as to what's the latest on the issue, because also there were four students that have been suspend, suspended, but now the suspension has been lifted. We understand that they are writing examination. They are part of the students who are writing examinations but they also complaining that they are behind as they were suspended they were not coming and also they are saying that psychologically it's not fair to them and also they still need to to know how is this issue will be addressed because they do not know now how do they where do they stand but what they understand is that they are writing the examination and also that they they they, they there were allegations that they wanted seemingly there's are allegations of course that they seemingly wanted to set the school alight that's why they were suspend, they were suspended, but the management resolved, of course, to uplift the suspension. But with me, I, I'm joined by the marketing and communication manager, uh, Mr. Tabi Somufikeng. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Let's, let's start with the issue of the suspension that took place here. We understand four students have been suspended. Take us through that. Yes, in fact, it's five students that were suspended with the alleg uh, allegations of um, trying to burn this building as one of the students has agreed that there, is a, there was a, a, a message that was circulating between them agreeing on what they are going to use to, to burn down this building. So we had to protect other students. So with regard to that, secondly, the, the campus manager was held hostage here. Thirdly, other students were prevented from coming to school. So we had to take other students' um, rights into consideration, hence the suspension was, 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 was done. However, um, with the interventions of the local municipality councillors here, we agreed that we should provisionally suspend them. However, we've uplifted those suspensions to allow them to write the mini exams, because if we didn't do that, they were not going to qualify to sit for their final exams. Therefore, meaning they were not going to qualify for the bursary for 2021. But there seem to be allegations here of transparency, especially to those that have been suspended. They're saying that, of course, the suspension has been lifted, but they do not know why. Like, there's no clear indication as to after examination what's going to happen. No, they were briefed. They were informed why they were suspended. They, they, they know uh, why they were suspended. All right. So why they were, like as I've explained, why the suspensions was lifted was to allow them to write the mini exams. Definitely nothing else. To allow them to write the mini exams so that they qualify to sit for the final exams. Therefore, they can continue with their studies. Because otherwise, if they don't do that, then they are not going to qualify for for Bazari again for 2021. Mr. Bufugang, what happens then after if you are saying the, the suspension was just lifted for them to, to, to write their examination? The charges will continue. We are still going to charge them as according to our student code of conduct. As I said, it was just for them to allow them to continue and write their mini exams. But we are still going to charge them according to our student code of conduct. Yes. And the issue of NSFAS allocation, you understand some students still complain that they have not received the, the allocation. Mm. They're talking about, of course, the, the accommodation allocation amongst others. Yes. What can you say about that? All right. One, when you come to the issue of the transparency, there was a meeting that was held here between the student leaders, the representative of the students and the student themselves. And they were given their students, uh, their NSFAS statement. Now, the problem is one. In this area here, we are saving not only Zastron communities, but what happens is the student will come and register here. And then they will realize when they are here that proof of the residence is one of the documents that is required. And then what they will do is they will go to the local municipality and then they will require or re a request to be assisted with regard to the proof of residence. Now, when you apply to NSFAS, that application, NSFAS will view that application as somebody that 
is staying around the campus. Therefore, you don't qualify for, 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 for other uh, uh, benefits from NSFAS. So that could be the reason. Another issue here, if, do we have uh, final student, uh, uh, students that have been suspended? And what's going to happen now if you are saying the charges will therefore be introduced again if they are final students? There will be a hearing. They will be given an opportunity to cite their case. And then we'll take it from there. Definitely after this, the, after they've write their mini exams, like because one of them they were writing today, the charges will continue. We'll sit down with them and then charge them so that we protect this institution. So we are not going to let it go. The charges are still going to continue after they've written the exams. You also mentioned, Mr. Mufuke, that there's going to be some SSS people that will be uh, placed uh, also here at this yes. Muteo. Yes. What uh, are the issues are they? Will, will they be trying to address? All right. They are going to resolve the very same issues of other students who qualify for transport, others qualified for accommodation and so on. So what we did as a college is we've deployed uh, our student support services uh, personnel to come and resolve issues here at this campus. So they will be here. They've been here since last week. They are here today with me. And then they will continue to be here and, until all the issues at this campus are resolved. All right, that's Tabi Somofukeng, who is the communication and marketing ma manager at the Muteo TV at College. Of course, giving us the sense of what is currently happening as the management, saying that there were consultations, there were, of course, communication between them and the students, including the suspended students, and saying that it's only now that, okay, they want to address this issue of lifting the suspension because they want the students not to be behind uh, with examinations, but there will be, of course, actions that will be taken can after they're done with examinations but however there will be also people who will be uh, uh, who will be coming to work at this uh, Motewa College here in Zaston to try address the issues uh, at hand which is uh, the issues of NSFAS allocations if though we know and the students did uh, did agree that the 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 direction uh, of communication between they know that it's supposed to be them and the NSFAS but however they want to uh, the, the, the the college to be the mediator to be able to give them information that they, they, they want or they require in case they can't uh, be able to communicate with the NSFAS. So I must say that even though the suspension has been lifted with these students, but their charges will be entertained at a later stage. However, the situation remains like this. They do not know uh, what, uh, what the future holds for them. However, they are still writing the examination here at this campus. Thanks very much, Apumilele, for that report. We're